In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace your front window regulator in motor assembly. We are working on the driver's side, but the same process will apply to the passenger side of this Toyota Corolla. Let's get started. To get this job done, we actually have to remove the door panel. And I like to start at the inner door handle and remove that little cap that covers up a mounting screw. Use either a pick or a pocket screwdriver, anything that'll get in here and pry it open. You'll see there's a Phillips head screw behind it. So grab your Phillips head screwdriver and remove the screw. There it is. At the top of the door, you'll see the sail panel, which is this triangulated piece that covers up not only the tweeter speaker, but also the bolts for the mirror with a plastic trim tool. I'm gonna to pop this off. I don't wanna use anything metal that'll scratch or damage the paint. There we go. Pop this out of here. Next, we have to lift up the master window switch, take a trim tool and pop it up like this. It's just secured in with these clips here and then it has to slide forward because of this hook at the back. And if you flip it over, you'll notice the main electrical connector. There's just one and to disconnect it, you actually have to pinch both ends like this and pull it straight out. There we go. Sometimes it's a little tough, but with enough force, it'll come out. Doing that will allow us to pull the armrest slash grab handle up. It's also just held in with some clips and it looks like someone's been in here before because this is broken, but that's okay. Get this out of here, set it aside, get your Phillips head screwdriver and remove these two main anchor screws for the door panel. With all of this removed, you can grab the door panel at the bottom. If you can stick your fingers underneath it, go ahead. I can't, it is pretty tight. So I'm gonna use a trim tool. Try to pry it open like that. It's gonna be loud, but these clips are pretty tough, especially if this is the first time that this has been off. Lift the door panel up and off of the window sill here. And there you have it, set it aside, door panel removed. And now with the door panel off, we can replace the window regulator if we remove this vapor barrier. So pull it up a little bit. It's just stuck on with this butyl tape, which I strongly recommend wearing some gloves if you're not already, because this is very sticky and it's gonna be hard to get off of your hands once you get it on there. So peel it back. We're gonna have to lift it up so we can get to the mounting bolts. And uh, I guess you could peel it down from the top, but we really need this opening here. That's where the regulator comes out of. So you might as well just go bottom to top. Now, when you flip this over, make sure this tape doesn't stick to the outside of your door because it's again, gonna be tough to get off. I'm gonna unplug the speaker so I can move this wire out of the way. Now with the Phillips head screwdriver, let's remove these three screws so we can get this panel off of here and get the regulator out. At this point, we have to roll the window up because there's a bolt here, which is easy to get to through this wide opening. But then there's one over here that needs to line up with one of those two openings. And that's gonna allow you to unbolt the regulator off of the window. So grab your window switch, plug it back in, and let's turn the key to the on position and roll the window up. Now, if yours is up, well, you're gonna wanna roll it down. If you find that when you try to plug in your window switch, it doesn't go in, you'll notice that there's a collar here. This collar needs to be all the way out and that's gonna release a hook that's in there. Now, when you slide it out, it needs to be all the way out, not just partially. So you need to pull it back until it clicks and it'll lock in the unlocked position. Only then can you reconnect the window switch. There we go, just a little side note there. All right, key in the ignition, turn it to the on position so we have power to the window. And now watch out for this vapor barrier on top, roll the window up and it looks like it's going to line up with this hole over here, the oval one right there. There's the 10 millimeter bolt. So now I'm going to unplug the switch, turn the ignition off and we can unbolt the window from the regulator. Take a 10 millimeter socket and remove the bolt completely from the regulator. There's one. The one that you can see through the oval opening is gonna look exactly the same. It's more difficult to, to see and almost impossible for me to show you, but that's why I showed you the other one first so you can see what it looks like. There it is. 
Now on both sides, you'll notice that the regulator has to push back and the window needs to go up to unlock the mounting location from the little pin with the threads in it on the regulator. You're gonna have to do that to both sides. The window's completely unbolted now, so be very careful. You can either pull it straight up and tape it to the top of the door, or they make some special suction cups that hold it up here. Or if you just tilt it sideways, the glass comes right out. And then you can set it aside on a safe surface. I like to place it inside the vehicle. Get this out of the way again. Next, let's unplug the window motor, which is that connector right there with a the little round grommet around it. Press on the locking tab, pull the connector out, and now we just have a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts to unbolt, and the window regulator with the motor should come right out. I'm just gonna start on one side, work my way to the other. Note that this one does not have to be completely unbolted because it has a slot that it slides through, and that's so that when you put it in, you can actually leave the bolt in the new one and hook it in through the backside and it'll stay in place. So for that one, I just broke it free, but I left it in there. You can remove it, but it'll just make the regulator drop inside the door, and I don't want to do that. Lift it up, that'll unhook this, and there you go, it just falls inside. Slide it out through this opening. There it is. Take your new window regulator, and this right here is the hole that takes that bolt that actually stays in. So I took it out of the old one, thread it in a few turns, but of course, leave a little bit of room here so that the door panel can hook in there when the time comes. Slide the new motor and regulator through the door and make sure, and at this point, you just have to basically find the right angle for it to slide in. I find that kind of diagonal like this is best. And you need to do two things at this point. This new regulator has a wire that'll stick out with the connector. It's not gonna have that grommet. And then the second thing is gonna be lining it up here. So I'm gonna bring this wire through since it kinda wants to poke out anyway. Get this out of the way. And now let's move this around until we line up that bolt hole. There it is, slide it through and lock it down. Now you just wanna move it around, line up all the other bolt holes. The two that were here go on this little rod that pivots. There's a larger one that sits on the back side that attaches the window to the regulator. And there's the smaller one that lines up perfectly with these two slots and that attaches the regulator to the door. So I see one of the bolt holes here or the threads and I'm gonna start this bolt in. I'm not gonna tighten it because it still needs to move around to line this one up. So there it is. And on the door itself, you'll see some marks from where the bolts used to be. Try to line them up as close as possible. That way it's positioned like it was before. Doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer the better. Okay, snug them up. And now with those done, let's move this around over here and line up the other three that are left. Once you put in that one, all the other ones should line up automatically. Now you can tighten them all up. Plug the window motor in. Now we need to plug the switch back in, operate the motor and move it either up or down. Most likely it's gonna have to move down in order to line up the two bolt holes for the glass. This piece can slide in and out. However, you need to slide it to line it up. Looks like mine is actually very centered in this hole. So I'm gonna stop right here. I'm gonna unplug this again, shut off the ignition, and let's put the glass back in. If you decided to completely remove it, slide it in at an angle, the opposite way of how you removed it. And if you didn't remove it, well, it's already gonna be in here and you just have to slide it down. Now, one side note for if you did remove it, just make sure it goes into the side tracks here so that it can slide up and down smoothly. Otherwise it'll not be well on track. It'll get bound up and you won't even be able to slide it like this. Now to hook the window back up onto the regulator, you're gonna have to maneuver this around until the whole of this retainer lines up with the threads on the regulator and do the same to the other side through the oval hole. You can't see it, but I'm gonna have to obviously do both sides. And with that done, thread in both of the bolts on both sides. And snug it up. 
Don't make it too tight. You don't want to break the threads, the bolt, or even this plastic retainer. Do the same to this one as well. Nice and snug. Let's put this shield back on here with the three Phillips head screws. Line it up. Once you get these snug, don't go past that because it'll strip the plastic. But definitely make sure it's snug, otherwise it'll rattle around in your door. That's not gonna be a very pleasant sound as you're driving. Now let's put the vapor barrier back. Make sure this wiring harness goes through. Of course, we'll reconnect the speaker. And you wanna try and stick this back to where it was. It's important that you seal this up because this is what protects the inner door panel from getting water on it and moisture as it comes in through the window. So make sure that this sticks as good as it can. You, if you can't get it perfect, maybe you could use different kind of tape or maybe you have butyl tape. Just make sure that it's on here, basically. At this point, if you wanted to, you could test your window, but we already did by operating the regulator, so I know it works. Now let's get the door panel back. Take your door panel, line it up with the top here, hook it over the windowsill. And once that lines up, tap it down into place. Make sure your wiring for the master switch comes through. Now go around the door panel and tap all the push clips into place. Let's put the two main anchor bolts in, start them in. These also screw into plastic, so don't over tighten them. Once they bottom out and get snug, just leave it like that. This piece is kind of broken here for me, so I'm gonna be careful, but tighten it up. Okay, again, make sure the wire goes through, and then we can put this in. It has a few clips that slide in and lock this in. I'm gonna lift this one up and lock it in here because it's broken, and if I just push it down, it's not going to lock in. It's just gonna push that down. The rest of it will fall into place like it should. Tap it down, reconnect your window switch, and once you press it in, it'll automatically push the collar in. And then you can press it all the way to lock it. This switch has this hook on the backside, so slide that in first and then line it up at the front. Tap it down. Now let's put the screw in for the door handle. Tighten it up and close this little door to hide the screw. One last thing is the sail panel over here. That is basically the grill for your tweeter and the cover for these mirror bolts. There's a hook on the bottom of it. You're gonna wanna hook it over the door panel and then it's got this push clip that clips into this hole. And there you have it. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.